Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make um, soap that will work for grease and clean glass um, using just cheap store brand soap, whatever store you have there, okay? Um, before I go into the video, they are mostly uh, all liquid soap is um, sodium laureth sulfate and cocomido propyl betaine those are the two main ingredients in most soaps now even in shampoos and uh, boba bath and all that stuff anyway so what we're doing is we are actually boosting it we're going to make it to boost it and also neutralize odor as well okay and we're going to use borax okay and it's true to what it says Enhance cleaning power of dish detergent. Help to remove grease and grime. Make dishes spark and clean. And they, and they are 100% true. Okay. Um, I have already... Uh, uh, my formula though, I mixed about... Um, I, I heated up and I mixed about four ounces total um to each 50. so actually i think four or five so probably about 10 percent mixture so you would have to measure that and um it w just remember it will separate okay and because of borax it, it's it's so natural it won't mix onto this I, and i will have a clip at the end not the, the next, uh, the following clip would, but let me, before I do that, I'll show you this right here. This is, this is when it's all mixed up, okay? And you would have to shake it up. If you leave it for a little while, you will see it separate just like that right there. And you would have to shake it up. So this is the same thing. I just shake it up and it'll come something like this right here. Okay? Okay, before we go into the washing, I am going to show you what happened when you leave these through time after mixing. Settling like that. Okay. This is this is um just with just borax and it kind of separate a little bit. You can see right there. Okay. Now this is with um extra um I put in um uh, kids bubble bath I wanted to make it even more bubblier and this is the separation to that okay now every time you wash or once in like few few days a week or whatever shake them up and it'll look like this so instead of this when you leave it on the side a little bit after mixing it will separate it out and when you Shake it up. That's what it looks like. That's the comparison to that, okay? This is non-shake, and this is shake. So every time you wash, like I have it list, I, I leave it right there. Those are my uh, my formulas. Uh, that's actually with vinegar, and this is actually non-vinegar. This is um, bubble bath plus dish soap. Uh, I have those in other videos. I'll link it to here. And I have to do three. They do all three uh individual jobs well i'm gonna do the test uh we're, we're, we're testing this out because uh you know we have to test it out how it does okay um i didn't give the mixture to this video because i want to speed things up all you have to do is put it in a stove like uh on the stove heat it up uh when it this gets warm don't let it bubble up okay just get warm like and then put your 10% uh, in mixture. That's it. I mean, how easy can that be, right? Anyway, so now we're going to go to do the test. So that way I can speed up the process a little bit better. Now, before you, um, before you wash these, and I'll tell you a secret to washing liquid soap. I've learned something new, and from now on, I'm going to put that into my videos. I've learned something new about liquid soap. 
It has to be the hottest water you can take it. A warm or hot. It can't be cold. That's what I learned. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rinse this out because I don't know if it has a lot of... Um, I don't know if it has a lot of... Uh, let me scan it up a little bit. I don't know if it has a lot of oil in them or not. I know there is because I saved that specifically for this video. Like this one, you can see it's beating off. No matter what I do, see? This one, there's still stain on them. Okay. And I got a little bit of the stain off, but this oil still beating on them. You can see that. This one got a lot of oil in them. That's from a frying, um, I believe, beef. We kind of like cooked and fried our beef in here. Uh, yeah, my grandmother cooked them in here because it prevented from splattering. She likes to cook them in here so it's less cleaning for her. That's another tip right there. Instead of frying your um, your beef or steak, fry them in here in a big pan like that, and no oil splatter, less oil splatter. Anyway, so now you saw how I I try to put through hot water because that's the secret. Now we would take our sponge. And this, yes, these are my personal sponge. I made these. If you're interested in that, I'll link it to the video too here. Or you can watch it for entertainment purposes. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of water in it. You have to put a little bit of water in it. That's the secret to these soap. Don't know what it is. And it's true to what they say about borax. And you can buy any soap. When I'm washing, I'll tell you the secret on this. You can buy any cheap soap. Even that. Those are the soap. I got those from a dollar store. 50 ounces is only a dollar. Can you imagine? But oh my god. All you have to do is buy uh, a borax thing. For like $3. And you can use it for a long time. So... Let's say if I spend $10, it will last me like a long time. Just for $10. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rinse these out so I can test it for you. Now you saw how I did it. Simple as that. I'm going to rinse it out. I have glass and I have plastic. As we all know, glass and plastic is the worst one to wash with. You see the here the squeakies? Okay. Especially plastic. Okay. Very hard to get that unless you have borax and that detergent. And now you have to rinse with a little bit of warm water. Remember, warm water. Sometimes though, sometimes in rare cases, extreme, extreme, like, see how this is? I still got some. This is my, this soap right here is only bath soap. Bath, um, it's just bubble bath. And somehow, whatever they put in the bubble bath, you can actually remove oil really good. I'll make a separate video on that. But... Let's say it doesn't come out, that would be the next the next step. And it smells really good too. I know what they put in there. Um, I think I know what they put in there. Um, it's called Oxide. And yes, they put that in famous brand. I can't say it. But a famous brand, D A W N. And look. Hear that? 
very hard to get older. But these glass, they come out awesome. I mean, borax clean glass, awesome. Glass and porcelain. And they will come out squeaky as well. And I specifically soaked this in oil because that was our oil thing. And look. You know? Okay. And I got another glass here. First, I'll let you hear the... Okay. And then... Okay. That's what Borax does. Oh. And you can add Borax to your detergent too. To your washing, to dish, not dish up, I'm sorry, clothing. I'm going to make a separate video on that, but if you watch this video, you don't have to watch that video. I'm just going to make separate videos so people can find things. So now that's my last thing. I put a little back extra in here and put a little water, hot water. Just a little bit, just to loosen it up. And then I go to town with it. What it does is I find liquid soap works best because it neutralizes the pH balance. It, it, it's a very good neutralizer for pH balance. That's why liquid soap is getting very popular. And some people think it's not, um, it's not natural. Yes, it is. Liquid soap is natural. Not all, but most liquid soap is natural. It's deprived, uh, like uh, sodium lauryl sulfate, is deprived from coconut oil. Okay, let me rinse this out. And remember, we cook steak in here. And this is porcelain. Sorry if I'm out of camera, I didn't I didn't plan it too well. This is porcelain. This is porcelain and just regular, I guess just regular paint that they use. I don't know what kind of paint they use. And aluminum. Of course, I'm gonna do. You hear that? You hear that? Same way with over here. You hear that? So now you know how to enhance your dollar store brand or any. Uh, Walmart or um, Target or CVS brand or any store brand market basket any store brand to work better all you need is borax anyway I guess that's about it for this video and I if you see this video and you want to enhance your cheap soap it will save you a lot of money um, I mean, extremely save you a lot of money just using cheap borax, borax and and cheap soap. Uh, and please remember one more thing: rinse it well. Okay. Some people people oppose to borax, uh, so my suggestion to it: if you oppose to borax or whatever, just make sure to rinse it a little bit extra. That's all. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Okay.